And I. That's pretty convenient. He, his attack is Osprey and he plays Falco. <laughs> I think that's probably part of it, I would imagine. Yeah. Now, this is a very obscure matchup. Yeah. We don't really see Falco too much. Falco, yeah. he tends to struggle in the neutral a lot yeah. because of his. I'm guessing because of his mobility and the fact that he really struggles to land. Yeah. So even getting back to neutral is pretty hard for him. Uh, but in this situation where he has a reflector, he might have some air here. Now, Luxie has a couple of uh, Falcos that he's played here, which yeah. is, would be Voldash and Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's comfortable enough fighting the character to an extent. Yeah. I'm not sure the level at which Osprey is at, though. So, right now, Luxie looking Lu like he's comfortable right now. Getting yeah. nice damage. He's in the driver's seat, got the stage control. Oh, tried to get fancy on him, too. Oh, uh, that might have been a setup, who knows? Osprey trying to go in, but unfortunately, Arcfire breaking him out. Oh, beautiful. And that's what Luxie needs to be careful about. He needs to be careful about using his projectiles in neutral. Yeah, I heard that Manny told him to um, wait for approaches to use um, Arc Thunder. Yes. So he noticed that Osprey did approach, but Osprey was ready to react. So, yeah, so I feel like... Ooh, nice Vortex. But I feel like something that Luxie needs to do is to condition his opponent to approach, so then he can start using projectiles effectively. Right now, this is the perfect chance, as he is in the lead right now. Pretty decent um, life lead, not too crazy though, because Osprey could come back. Yeah, Robin's very strong in the lead, especially since he can kind of build a fortress around you with Arc Fire and Arc Thunder. Yeah, I was about to say, he's probably going to get caught. You see, he avoids the tome, but he's still in a bad spot. Alright, um, got a grab at least coming out from him. Oh, not able to get the forward smash, but still able to punish Luxia. Elwind is pretty good in this matchup because his Fal Falco's recovery is pretty capable. Mm -hmm. So, you can kind of just L Thunder, or uh, L... I can't really think of the name, <laughs> but I'm just going to say Uppy. You can, you can kind Elwind. of beam off stage. Elwind, okay. You said it right the first time. Yeah, I just said it and then I just forgot. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, we went for the lead. Beautiful. Alright, Lux is going to take game one, no problem. Let's see how Osprey adapts. Osprey does have a pretty strong Falco. He seems to have... He seems to have good control. Yeah, he has good control. He's just getting caught. Uh, he's just getting caught by a lot of uh, what Luxie is doing. I honestly. just feel like he does not really have much experience in that trip. Yeah, and that's thus, what I'm. That's he doesn't what really I'm know how to assess it. That's a lot of people when it comes to Robin. We should know. Yeah. When we first started playing Luxie, we were, really weren't comfortable with Robin. Still, some of us are, for sure. Even yeah. now, and it's been you know it's been a year or two. Robin is because. The fact that he can kind of store projectiles at you, and if you shield, you're still fine for it. That's what makes learning how to fight him so difficult, I would say, especially for um, less experienced players. Right. Now, this stage in particular, I think, is very good for Robin because because of the slant, it can be pretty wonky to deal with most of the stuff that mm. he kind of throws out. Um, and so then, most characters can kind of go into low position to dodge them. However, on this stage, because of the slant, it can be really, really weird to actually avoid these projectiles. Oh, there we go. We got the Nosferatu coming out. Yeah, he really conditioned him to, I guess, let go of shield. Yeah, that and just be in that spot. That was more, the more important, the positioning. Yes. Oh, wow. Trying to... Trying to camp him with lasers. Yeah, Osprey getting a couple of headshots. Oh, not exactly camp, but just trying to get some chip damage in. Ooh. Ooh! Down throw. Got him on the tech roll. And then another down throw. Down throw up air is so powerful. Beautiful stuff. Oh no, here we go. This is where the demoralization comes in. And he's gonna want that Nosferatu Tome. It's so strong. Now, what Luxie did right there is that he did a grab release and a Mark Thunder. That was really smart because usually after a grab release, since you can't grab immediately again, your opponent is already conditioned to shield. Yeah. So when you threw the Arc Thunder, that gave him just enough time to run up and grab him. Uh, now it looks, it looks like overall Osprey is getting pretty frustrated. Yeah. He just seems like he really doesn't know much about the character. Looks like he getting hit by his own tome. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got a back right. air. 
has him off stage. And that is... Uh, he wanted the dare. He's trying... He's getting really greedy now. That's where Falco really excels because of his high jumps and his really powerful back air. Yeah, but the problem is... Ugh. Yeah. The problem is, is that Osprey can't afford to... Oh! oh Alright. Just as I say that, it's a nice uh, side view spike, but... Overall, they can't really afford to do anything too crazy. Ooh, oh, there we go. Oh, we, we got some spark started. Momentum, momentum shifted. Oh my Oof. goodness, that right. was an amazing attempt. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good sequence there off stage. I'm not sure if it oh. would have killed him. Oh no, you can see the inexperience. He didn't punish the arc fire. See with Tome in hand. Got to be careful of that thing it comes out so quick. Looks like he's getting a little bit impatient though. He oh. kind of just wants to finish off the stock, but he has to be really patient. Either. Never mind. Forgive me for that. I thought he did have Tome, but I was just looking at the Tome in his hand. Falco, you have to be really careful because his combos do immense amounts of damage. Yep. Oh, the dash attack! Surprisingly, let's see, not. I think the Tome. Okay, oh, yeah, and that's right. gonna take it. Beautiful snipe. Catch on the jump. Osprey, though, having a pretty strong Falco, he just seems that he really doesn't have a lot of matchup experience. Yeah. He started to adjust, but you could see the punish opportunities that he did, take, did not take advantage of, for sure. Right. But he was starting to adapt. 